shut intro here and we'll start from here. Length 30 minutes covers a clip show, clips juxtaposing Mutahar's statements about his relationship and knowledge of Nux's content with footage from the first Nux. I remember seeing a post from one of uh, Rev's old crowds. I don't know if I could find it again, but they pointed out like they did some kind of weird, oh, like, uh, a weird graph of like what the tags were like and conjoined from all the different episodes of the sh hentai that they were reacting to. Okay. And apparently Nux has like a, a either a trend or he just like picked which would be like the most insidious which is like incest oh okay yeah like that was the one that had the most commonality amongst all the others that he showed yeah that, that's the fucking retarded thing uh, about it because rev was like <laughs> you know how he got docs in the first place no no i don't know anything really about rev i'll be honest okay rev says dc is basically um i call him the hassan piker of anime because he's literally a <laughs> Because he literally has the same shit with Hassan Piker as far as mentality and how he comes across in the anime community. Okay. I, I, I've watched Rev before, and you know, I didn't even think about it until you mentioned it, but it's so fucking right. <laughs> it's so fucking accurate, it hurts. So, so Rev's chair does most of the work, is what you're saying? or? He's an well, anime chair. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a VTuber, quote-unquote, because he's got the fucking the little Wally Girl VTube model. Um, so it's an animated chair. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Does all the work. it's all about like how he acts and like his entire attitude towards certain parts of the community and whatnot okay he, uh, he also has like some pretty like i guess you could say quote-unquote radical beliefs politically speaking okay um he's not on the level of hassan piker like when it comes to um blowing up america yeah, pretty much. It's just that he's <laughs> as those uh, he's as uh, vociferous and fucking um, stupid when it comes to the interpretation <laughs> of what he's saying, like oh, okay. how he interprets the subject. Like he believes that uh, he's a free speech absolutist uh, to the point where you you could basically say that you know if he had a printing press, he'd be making copies of the anarchist cookbook if it had lollies on uh, in it. Okay. <laughs> it's like this is how you make bomb chan. <laughs> exactly. Oh exactly. god. That, 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 that's how fucking stupid he is. That's why I say he's the Hassan Piker of anime. Oh, but the reason stupid. why he got doxxed was because of that uh, video game uh, of two. I guess they were incestu incestuous twins. Uh, oh, um, uh, you, you know the game that I'm talking about, right? Yeah, Where the they coffin, share a coffin. Um, yeah, the coffin of Lele and I forget Andy? his name. Is Andy and Andy? Lele. Yeah. Andy. And yeah, basically. He was, like, in full support of it, and once the creator of it got, like, doxxed and got harassed and everything, he took a fucking stand for him, and then he got doxxed. <laughs> yeah, he was doing his typical fucking, this is freedom of speech, it's freedom of expression, blah, 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 and then he gets doxxed. He's like, no, that's not what I meant by freedom of speech. <laughs> well, and, and you know what the, the funny part is? He kind of hotline miami did, like, oh, he mama maxed it, where, like, exactly. the whole point was, like, that... Lele is this manipulative sociopath that literally like seduced her brother into having feelings for her, and like this is like literally a bad person. And Rev is like, no, this is okay. Like, no, this, is a, <laughs> this is an innocent love story. <laughs> yeah, like literally, it was it was commentary. Like, oh my like Miami did it, and he went full Mama Max on it. <laughs> yes, he, he he went full like he just basically bought into it because of the fucking theme, which was incest. So, <laughs> so Lele, the brother fucker. Leviathans are coming, kind of thing. Like, yeah. are we talking about that? Yeah, that's how, that, that, that's how Rev says DC got back. So okay. Apparently, now has a, a Kiwi Farms thread as of July this year. Oh, yeah. congratulations, him! Right? Like, you, you stopped being part of the mega thread to get your own. Yeah, <laughs> so he he is now a local. Oh my god! I mean, he always was. Now it's just oh, yeah. like officiated. Well, it's just one of those things that, like, when I saw this, like, I even said it in chat, like when. Sen brought this up because Sen's like kind of always been outspoken about like why is Mudahar like liking this guy and everything back when he was calling out Natsaku like these guys follow Rev Suzetsu and I was once I heard about this I was like okay makes sense tracks and we know why now yeah, <laughs> I think Mudahar I was just it. trying to be mediator what was that? that point I think Mudahar was trying to be mediator rather than anything like you know Maybe so. Maybe. I, I don't know. And that's where, like, I need to pay attention to this. So, like, yeah, this is, just without saying much, this is one of the raw reactions of mine that you're going to get. Like I said, I heard most of this. I haven't watched the video. It's Chud's live stream. I know I didn't miss much. Sorry, buddy. 
But uh wow. <laughs> Like I love you, Chud. So like, if you start yep. anything, it's a it, Chud. It's, 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 Chud it's one-sided. It's one-sided with Patrick. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to out here fight Chud's logic, man. <laughs> you know, Chud, you're a very good janitor for Nick Diorio. Like, hey. well, there's a couple reasons for it. A lot of that was obviously some of the shot stuff too, because we were three sigma. We're like, um, me and Caleb, we and we were just like, this is. It's weird. We haven't done like a full background to look on. The I don't know. It's con- weird. I mean, you watch Sentai with the dude, so yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it kind of changes the perspective on a lot of this stuff. But I did cover this with the Kotaku stuff. This whole portion of the Chud stream. And here's the thing: like, I forget what uh, Rev says. Dsu's fucking uh, stance is on Shadman, but <laughs> like Nux is like the prime example, like of what I meant uh, when I was telling you in the interview I did with you, Pat. About, yeah, like the blurred lines of how far this fucking kind of content can go it's it's basically like a pipeline or at least a gateway to it yeah 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 you did talk about that when we did the interview i do remember that because it just like i i thought nux had like because when this shit came up with nux the first time like as of late i thought that was the way it was like he had gotten rid of shad man i didn't think he stuck around with it like months after yeah so that was like a big rewrite on my thoughts about him content is or anything obviously yeah. i was on a few collaborations with him when he was doing like fucking memes and like uh the game shows with like 15 fucking creators and that's pretty much the extent of my collaborations he probably shouldn't be showing uh you know porn like that on a website where i know it's censored or whatever but even censored stuff like you probably shouldn't be showing that consistently to a website full of minors in the context of like ha ha funny joke i would love to know because like okay so we've pointed out with all of this we've pointed out that there is um mama max did the reviewing the hentai stuff and we all know where Mama Max has ended up. Now we're seeing Mudahar go through this. Why has nobody called out the other, you know, obvious elephant in the room here? You know, the guy that maybe had a thousand or so lolly likes and also did similar stuff. Like, <laughs> like was, was his hentai less hentai E? Nah, he just has the blessing of the Oreo on him. It couldn't be hentai because they were underage. It's like, no, they weren't like, they still had quote unquote clothes on, you know. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, they were just blue. God. <laughs> so the hentai was less hentai. <laughs> yeah, they were just more like voyeurs and Patrick. God, don't you? Like, it, it's, it's like it's not like it's not like this shit isn't in the vacuum. Like, if adults were to do it, it'd be considered lewd and lascivious. Like, I would say, <laughs> probably get arrested for if you yeah. tried doing it. You know, in public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just here's another point I want to bring up then. Yep. There's just too many horny fucks in the world. Just, like, we're all friends, right? Yeah. I'm never sharing porn with you. Thank you. <laughs> like, I appreciate any that. Of you, either of you. Like, why is it, like, and this is ironically a throughput with Echo. <laughs> like, it just all lines up with this episode, right? But it's like, why are all these people sharing pornography with one another? Like, what? what is, like, what is it, right? Like... I mean, it's almost like, you know how Aki came up with, like, the high school contacts? It's almost like the college frat boy m- mindset, in a way. Yeah. I guess, but it's like, what, is your fetish showing, like, porn to your friends? Like, it's kind of fucked. Like, I've, I've always viewed jerking off as a private, singular activity. But, yeah, you know, this past week has turned me on to thinking that like, I'm in the minority here. <laughs> right? Like, I, like, literally, like, these people do, like, legitimate circle jerks. Yeah. Like, 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 like unironically like and it's like what the fuck like well i mean here's the thing even with my little tacit joke about the college frat boy mindset i mean there's there is at least a quote-unquote legitimate like reason for why they would do that and that's just to gauge like hey what are you into like let's go hit on these chicks while you be my wingman kind of situation formulating in their head yeah yeah that, that that's more of a plausible you know fucking reason as to why you know you would show someone that. <laughs> but my, but my, that, but be my <laughs> jerk parties in a Discord call. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, <laughs> yeah. would like, you like to be fuck? a fat buddy? Like, I, w- w- there was a guy. I'm gonna have to look him up now. I used to watch him like a couple of years ago. He made fun of people that did this on Craigslist. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, and now it's like community standards. <laughs> yes. Can we go back to fun of making making fun of this on anywhere? Anywhere, I'm okay. It doesn't have to be Craigslist anymore. I'll, I'll give. I'll concede that point. But, like, Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Like, sorry you guys are maybe hearing the old man standard here from us three, but... We're all we're technically <laughs> that, right? Well, we're in our 30s, and we're all pretty much have lived, like, the adult life for a decade or so. Yeah. Well, More that, so than these guys, so... Yeah. You know what else we do? Get free porn? 
No, we, we turn the computer off and live. Well, I also but get free also... porn. <laughs> or, or we turn off our computer and get injured like I did. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're actually involved in the real world. We don't terminally online, like... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's nice, too. Like... I'm going to get back into the... Into the incest. <laughs> divert yeah. from, divert yeah, from the well, jerk off. <laughs> off the into the like, and then, you know, who knows what they get into as a result of that. That's basically my takeaway. Wait, you should have yeah. four of those videos? Same clothes. I mean, not I've just the whole thing in, on YouTube. Is like, I've not changed since this day. Same exact clothes. Like, more reactions, <laughs> right? Yo, what is happening, gamers? And welcome back to another video. Ah, my favorite series has returned at long last. <laughs> Wait, what is this he's showing here? No age restriction, monetized. Right, okay. Oof. Okay. I don't, what's, what's the point of this, I guess? The no age restriction. Monetized video. Not the monetization, ah, the no my age restriction. How did he not pick up on that? <laughs> yeah. The, the person showing that, showing that, like, this is available to anybody 13 and up that can have their it, own YouTube account. It's like a fetish. I, I swear to God, it's like a, it's like a fetish of, like, uh, introducing shit like this. Yes. Like, Yes, I mean, I, this is what happens when you have, like, the fucking, you know, partner program and you get your own YouTube agent. You get whitelisted to where certain checks and balances don't go through. Well, from listening to, like, early on stuff with the Oreo, he's his own checks and balances. And then, like, if he breaks the guidelines, then it goes to, like, he's got to be looked at and monitored for a bit. And then he'll eventually, like, get it back to where he's going to be on his own again. And, like, I get that. That's part of the fact that the system is so big that you can't have enough people genuinely evaluating the content with as much content inflow as there is. But in that situation, like, God, there's got to be something within the technology that you guys can do. At long last, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Me showing cursed... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, listen. Basically, the con dross is, is like a, an autistic... Um, Noxtaku detract a log. I don't know. <laughs> so it doesn't, it doesn't actually surprise me that he's picking up a bunch of autist level information. Print. What's up, buddy? <laughs> we are here for the fucking memes, aren't we? This is your first time here, and I have to make a good impression. No problem. You've already made the perfect impression, man. You got you got me at like 5:30 watching memes. I had a nice work day. <laughs> Yo, what up, Nux Taku? What the fuck are we watching right now, by the way? Great news. We are watching. Pay no attention to what's on screen. Yet. We, you okay. didn't see the context. We can't be that okay. bad. Okay. okay. I found a channel called Memes Boy. Oh. Memes Boy. Memes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Bro, what is? That is so bad, because there's no way to fucking even, like, play that shit off. There's hentai, like, written three places on that fucking screen. Like, how, how do you go in there? Like, I would nope the fuck out. Jim, hit for you under the desk again, buddy. You do this shit to me, I'm like, nope, we ain't doing this shit. <laughs> I'm degenerate, but damn. <laughs> nope, nope. We ain't having jerk-off circles, we ain't having this. <laughs> like, it's pretty fucking easy. <laughs> easy decision. Simple words can solve these problems. Like, no. You don't even have to say it. There's a little red button you can push. Yeah. You don't even need to say no. You can just push the button and leave. <laughs> you can nope without even noping. Like, <laughs> exactly. And then you can just right-click, look for the button that says block. And, like, you don't even ever have to interact with this person ever again. Oh, my like, God. What's this? <laughs> Okay, okay. Memes boy. Probably not related to do with memes at all. Probably not. So, memes boy. I don't know how this channel exists, but they uploaded memes. I gotta say I'm impressed, because we're at zero zero in the time code, and this girl already has memes on her face. <laughs> like, just already globules of memes. Hey, right. Why are you saying this? How, how do you know this isn't yogurt? This is that certain- uh, uh, I don't like this. Yeah, Chat, this is funny. Chat, uh -huh. Chat I blame you. I, 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 I blame you guys. Oh. Yeah, this was funny content. I, I, I love- Watching people talk about pornography oh. and body fluids. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. At least yeah. not the consistency of motherfucking yogurt, that's for sure. Anime yogurt has a different, you know. Oh, dude, look at the shading on the yogurt. No, the the memes. <laughs> <laughs> just be real. That, that's straight. Look at the shading, dude. It's red. Goddamn. So the plot here for uh, the lovely I mean, story. Uh, it's like, what? Okay, I'm not very good with this anime shit. Okay, what age is this character? Answer A. Not old enough. Leave. Please. The answer is, it's <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. school. <laughs> even, if, even if it was of age, it's still disturbing to be doing this on a platform where there's, like, children. Like, even if the content is an A minor, the people that are go the people that could potentially watch it are. Oh my god. I was going to make a music reference there, but... 
If it's raindrops falling on my head, I'm fucking done with this video. No, nah, it was oh, actually, thank God. you know, the family guy clip. <laughs> the pedophile opera in A minor. Oh. <laughs> you know, personally, I'm just... a fan of Styx's come sail away. <laughs> I like the cleverness. I like where you're going. Thank you. <laughs> but seriously, like, this is the shit that I'm talking about. Like, fucking memeing on something. Like, and then I'm supposed to take you serious later on. Here is Mudahar memeing on hentai on YouTube. And I'm supposed to seriously believe that he's disgusted by the fact that Natsutaku was putting hentai in his thumbnails and videos. Call me crazy. I don't fucking believe it. Not fucking buying it. I think you were playing off the plausible deniability of the fact that nobody knew about this shit because push comes to shove. Apparently this video got taken down. I don't know why it got taken down. You seem very happy and proud in this video. Like, I, I'm looking at this, and I don't know what age this person is supposed to be. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Answer seriously. Don't answer like a meme. Who cares? Depends on the art style of the rest of the show. What, you hanging around? The... Okay, opening image. You see this. You hanging around to figure out how old they are? I'm not. I'm not. Nope. Not doing it. <laughs> because right. what happens if you're invested 35 minutes in and find out this is 14? It's one of those, in retrospect, I was 16, bro. Ew. Like, like, one of those, like, go-megal situations. <laughs> like, kind of like the tips or DM situations with AK Elodos. Yes. Where he's like, your friend's cute, too. There you go, she's 16. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Why do all the hot ones not like dick? <laughs> <laughs> Have we forgotten about that? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh god but seriously though like I, I, again being genuine i'm not going to watch this i'm not going to hang around to find out the canonical age of the person who in the opening scene has fucking come on their face when they look like that right and, and here's another thing that like weirds me out too is everybody's focused on the hentai but like can we also like maybe shift the focus too to like where the this video is being distributed to like actual minors potentially. Yes. Like that, that's too. What, that too. I'm more worried about that than like the age of the fictional character. That because it's like that like sexualizing things like that, especially if there's like some like minor out there that really like this PNG image Nutsaku guy sees this and then be like, mm, this is how I can get their attention or something because kids are stupid. Well, like I don't know. There's so much at play here. It plays into everything that we said previously. Like, you can apply here, like, it looks like it's Natsaku's account up in the top right corner. So, obviously comes across this. You're not searching for this, unless you know, like, key terms to get around. Like, because I would hope, and I'm not going to check, that, like, things like hentai would be blocked otherwise in YouTube. Yeah. So, like, you know where to go to get this kind of content, to then take this content, bring it to your channel, not age-restricted, and show it with your buddy who's going to later disown you over this type of stuff being in your thumbnail. Again, covered thumbnails earlier. Not something you see even at the beginning of a video. Like, and I'm supposed to take all of these fucking people seriously. Yeah. This is as gross as the fucking Echo thing. This is bad. It's, yeah. It, it's no different. And in, in all honesty to me, like, call me fucking odd man out for it if you want. But Jesus fucking Christ. Well, and also, Nux is an anime channel, and anime is generally popular with sort of, like, outcast youths. <laughs> yeah! Like, you know what I mean? So, like, this is one of those Well, things there's a reason for that. Uh, for them being outcasts in the first place. This is just the proof of, uh, of the reasoning. True, true. <laughs> but but it, 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 it's just, it weirds me out that, like, you know, there's, like, some 13-year-old out there that doesn't socialize well, you know, falls into anime culture... You know, and then like oh, Otaku follows this guy, gets yeah. a fucking video notification for this. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, now now this thirteen year old who already likes anime that might have some questionable like lewd imagery is now going down like an anti rabbit hole. I'm gonna escalate this. It sounds a lot like grooming. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna escalate this. Tell me what the difference is between what we're watching right here with fucking Mudahar and all this shit and even Chris Tyson having teen boys know about their hentai likes and addiction. Yeah, the only thing that I can say that would make Ava worse is the actual con direct conversations in the Discord. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but, like, outside of, like, if we're just looking at it from, like, the actual content standpoint, it's basically the same in my eyes. 
what makes Ava worse is like the actual direct communication. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and the fact that she took a step further and actually met up allegedly with fucking at least one of the teens. Yeah. And their families to sort of give off that like, oh, yeah, no, you can go in with that nice Chris fella. Like, you know, now that, like, you know, trying to, like, deceive the parents to maybe potentially get easier access to lava. Yeah. Like, I just, I, you're making a hard play here for me to sit there and really sit there and say that this is that worldly different from that situation. Yeah. Kandros made the videos, and Kandros says the following. It's some kind of 1819 thing, but in the original video, her face is covered with cum. Okay. <laughs> so the point I'm trying to make is, you know... What, what are we looking at here? Are we looking at, like, something that is, like, of an adult age? Well, if that's the case, it's fucking weird, of course. <laughs> right? Commence the sweeping for Muta. <laughs> Bro, I literally cannot win. I literally cannot win in this situation. The idea that I'm going to sweep... I'm just trying to be fair. And, because if this individual is, like, an, a supposedly underage character, you know, it kind of undermines Muta's point that he didn't know about the extent of, um, you know... Right there. What do you call it? Nux Tarkis Well, that's the thing. You could take... Hold up. You could take it in one of two ways, whether he knew that the character was underage, or just assume, rightfully so, that Nuxtaku has underage viewers and is showing them adult content in the guise of making Mudahar react to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's basically what Jim was saying. Like, that's, either that's way, issue, either way, uh, 60 years year old fucking dragon, doesn't matter. Like, you're still exposing his, he's exposing I mean, his audience on top of, then you also have the other outlier of this being possibly underage. Individual. Well, I mean, it's like what I told you in our interview about uh, Dragon Maid when we were talk uh, talking about the Lolly situation. It's that you have a show that has minors in it, depicted minors, and then you have sex comedy. So it's acceptable if it's like you know comedy based. Yeah. However, it already implants the mind that sex with my uh, like sex like sexual. Um, I don't want to say icon iconography, but basically sexual situations, or at least if you want to be very generous relationship situations with minors involved that would be applicable to adults i mean you're presenting this as being normalized that it's okay by tv standards yeah it's still sending the wrong message yeah and then you have the fan base that does like the doujinshi and the hentai and yeah, like and all, they all spread the it to like the younger fans yeah the recommendations and everything it's just a fucking it really is the gateway into this kind of shit yeah, it's the same way with that happens with my little pony right like that, they start out, you know, and then they spread the uh, adult material. Yep. Like, it's just, you know, when I see shit like this, it makes me really mad and it makes it really hard for me to sit there and take anything that in your, you know, like, that's going to work seriously because you were so willing to openly lie about this. I mean, it's just giving me heartburn right now. Like, it, it's just a level of, like, even the most, what's associated with one of the most uh, genuine people in commentary i mean he's held to the same standard as coffeezilla and all these other people now what happens if coffeezilla comes around and is in the same situation replace mudahar's picture with coffeezilla wouldn't you detract away from like him sitting there calling out people because he's obviously having a double standard where he can hide his stuff yeah like it, it, it's it's aggravating because well, it it's, feels... it's almost like when you find out like uh what was it the situation of massachusetts here it re recontextualizes slightly the situation in Massachusetts, you had a person that was in a drug lab, right? That was testing for chemical substances to see whether they were X or Y or Z drug, right? This person was stealing bits of the drugs that were used as controls to test whether they're X, Y, or Z drug. Because of that, it ruined every other case that their testimony was used on. Yeah. Well, and to me, it, it kind of, it sort of, it sucks because it's like, okay, like, you've done great work with, like, the completionist. You've proven you know how to research. You're closer to next than you are dream. And you didn't see this. this you, been a, like, yeah, this should have been a slam dunk. You have an open door. Yeah. You have an open door to be like, what? what is this, man? Like, I mean, like, given to what Pat was trying to equate it to, that'd be like the fruit of the poisonous tree tree uh, idea, right? I think so. Yeah. I just... It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be so much as poisoning the well. It'd just be fruit of the poisonous tree, which any evidence that is garnered illegally basically affects any legal evidence that comes from the same person. Yes. Yes. 100%. Because I just, I have to, I have to question everything now. So in my eyes, like, this opens it up to, like, even though it seems like it doesn't apply, you know, what were his sources of evidence and everything that he put together on Keffels, on the completionists? You know, even though those well, people I mean, may be rightfully called out and all that, and what their situations are is totally wholly different from this. This guy was still willing to lie and hide and not show this and not be upfront 
about this until he was put into a position where he had to. Well, I mean, Kethels would probably argue that, you know, most of Mendelhar's evidence came from Kiwi Farms and she uh, she would use the fruit of the poisonous tree argument based off of bias alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying, like, you, you, you have to dismiss it necessarily. It's just a matter of, like, I feel like it naturally creates the question now. Well, let me throw this situation out at you now. Why it really recontextualizes Mama Max. He burned Max, but Nux is worse. Yes. Because Max, well, Max made cringy fucking fan films and was like a false pedo hunter. Nux is providing sexualized content to potentially minors. Literally, well, Nux is the type that Mama Max would go after. Here's the thing. They're the same. So it's showing me a predication towards a certain type of individual. Yeah, there is burn Max, but not Nux. Yeah, That's exactly. The part that really fucks with my head. Yeah. Because it's like, Max, well, Max well, reviewed Max. hentai too. Remember Let me that. add more fuel to the fire for that for you, Jim. Because uh, back when uh, Mama Max was getting the whole wake up YouTube uh, routine going, he explicitly stated it's because YouTube uh, canned his video because of the animations he was making, the 3D renderings. Yeah. And one of them was literally of like a naked black man going after like children. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that the IMVU thing? Yep. Yeah, that. And basically. He he chalked it up as because they didn't want to show a black man's ass or whatever is what he said I believe. Yep. And it's uh, he also coached it all as well. My fans want this content. They really want to see this. You know, this black man's ass. This ass. Yeah. And, this insignificant, you know, just, otherwise like, insignificant other... piece of content. Yeah. Yeah, but again, it's like it's generated adult content in that in that exact <gasps> category, just for a different reason. Mm -hmm. And Max has the same potential to have like younger audience members who see that so technically he does fall under the same statute or same standard as nux does yeah yeah and i just i i mean it's still even so obvious like i don't even feel like you gotta go that far with the whole fact that Max literally has and hid and it's still available if you know the right places to look hentai review videos yeah that he did i can't remember the other person that he did it with but it was a roommate at the time but it was him and his roommate would actually sit there and do that and that was his content starting out that was Max's introduction. And then he did his whole What Was Me, Mama Max series that I think is actually on his channel available now. And then he got into Mama Max mode eventually. Hate all predators, kill everybody. Shit. Right? <laughs> the hotline. He played Hotline Miami when it was on sale. <laughs> One time, Steam, yeah. <laughs> he got it on during the Steam summer sale. That's when it changed him for his life forever. But like, Don the cow. I, I looked into the dude. That was the progression of his channel. And you can find archives of this out there. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it is a very, very black and white comparison between Nux and fucking Mama Max. Do you think it's only treated this way because he didn't collab with Max, but he collabed with Nux? Yeah. Do you think it's just purely like, I need to hide my involvement and burn him before it comes to light? What my actual... I mean, you have to genuinely question is. that now because he hit it. I mean, you'll never know the intent unless he comes out openly and says the intent. But I mean, makes every That's fucking thing now. look suspicious. Like, is this why, like, because this video resurfacing or something like that, is that why he got rid of Twitter? Is that why he's Some deleting people Twitter? Are saying that. You know what I mean? Like, Some people say that. They're, they're making that accusation. And it, it's a logical accusation. It genuinely fucking is. Like, I feel like you would be stupid to not make that accusation, given everything. Yeah, there's a clear throughput line, at least. Like, come the fuck on. God, this makes me mad. Like, it genuinely fucking makes me mad. Because this is the holier-than-thou group. Like, well, yeah. you're the gold and standard group. He's worked with Coffee, and he's worked with Carl Jobs and stuff. So that, in a way, now is going to drag them potentially into it. Like, did you know you were doing this with this guy that did this at one point? Yeah. And it's like, Carl probably, I doubt Carl, like, you know, looked into him that heavy. He was busy looking into, like, who he was making a video on. Yeah, I wanted to turn it off so that way you guys in the chat, whoever's even watching, can see, like, no, th this is full-blown, like, Mudahar's face on screen. Because I know my camera was covering up for a second there. Like... But, again, replace Mudahar's image with any of those otherwise considered reputable people. Put Carl Jack's, you know, little fucking caricature up there. But put Coffeezilla's image in that corner. Would you not question the full breadth of their work? Knowing that yeah. they had this, they did this, they, they lived it. This was something that they definitely did. They participated in it. Caught in 4K, so to speak. And they hid it. Yeah, I mean, people already questioned Carl about it just because he took a fucking sponsor. Yeah. You know, like that somehow that Mooney, that lawyer guy that tried to go after him saying that it was a sponsor thing for the Gerard stuff. And it's like, yeah, no, like he actually has like a $50,000 a month 
lawyer bill, which I heard that case is actually going pretty well for him. Since you guys know more about this, does it get worse? Um, this video itself? Yeah. Um, I, I, I would say this is probably the worst part of it, because the rest of it is Chud going over, like, the different statements Muda said, and sort of the contradictory elements of, like, you know, like, where he was on the stream when he said that, you know, oh, I'm stopping the podcast because of, um... Yeah, and then you had the situation the where thing. Joe Jangles yeah. was in chat that, uh, the harmful opinions pointed out and everything else. Yeah. And then, like, it goes into, like, you know, how he said, like, oh, yeah, I didn't know that. And then it's like, yeah, but then he references this video. It's like, you didn't know that, but you were literally in a video where that happened. So the rest of it's mainly just pointing out the contradictory elements of his statements. So, yeah, this is, what, four days ago? Yeah. I don't know when the actual stream was, though, because I know this is a clip. So this might have been, like, a week when it was live. Because I know sometimes his uh, second channel is usually a day or a couple days behind the main when it comes to clips. I'm just kind of interested to see this. I'm going to play this at super autistic speed. Super speed? I just want to see speed. kind of what's said here. Burger, that's for sure. Anime yogurt has a different skill. Oh, dude, look at the shading on the yogurt. No, the cut memes. <laughs> that's that's great. Look at the shading, dude. It's red. Okay. So, the plot here for the lovely story of the Isekai memes Monogatari is as follows. It's not a dude. It's transported into another world while jacking memes. So, he, he teleports to another dimension and assumes yes. teleportation ends memes. Yes. Now, you think that the plot just finishes there. Gets transported to another world while jacking memes. But what if I told you that just memes? Awakens the latent powers of women. They're, they're in like an RPG dimension. Oh, that's funny. This is a gamer's fantasy, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. They're just they're literally about to cast a heel spell with memes on her face. <laughs> no, no, not just with it on her face. Hey, I told oh, you she's going to get this. Let's go. I mean, that kind of just says it all right there. Hold on. Let me go back to that. I'm clicking a fuck away. There we are. Like, I, again, Chud missed this when they showed that first initial screenshot with all the information. This is the problem here. The fact that, A, first of all, this video's gotta be that fucking censored out. B, you got Muda's hog fucking face over in the fucking corner reacting to this fucking shit. And they never fucking age restricted this, so it's wide fucking open to any fucking kid to come across. Yeah. And I'm supposed to believe your, your vested interest in protecting fucking kids. And again, not a kid here, an adult. So going by their standards, he should have known better. Yeah, because he wasn't like partic- like he wasn't like eighteen, nineteen either. Yeah, like I-, I would love to know when the original video was, just so we can have an exact fucking timeline. Just trying to see if there's anything in the description or anything. Yeah, I'm surprised no one has made this joke yet. But um, speaking of facials, Mudahar could use one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I mean, his, I heard his culture liked a lot of his yogurt. Oh, well, brown guy, apparently. <laughs> Dude, I, I tried to look at Indian cooking once, and, like, all the fucking recipes have yogurt, and then it's like, why the... Like, are okay. you fucking... Like, do you believe in anything other than yogurt? Like, I thought you were going to make a cog reference there. <laughs> no, but if you want to hop in with one. <laughs> oh, my God. Is cog the one that fucking is the toxic plasmosis, dude, or is that fucking Mersh? I get the two confused. That's Mersh. Okay. All right. So yeah. I did have that right. Good. They're both equally retarded, though. <laughs> you know what's fucking hilarious about the toxoplasmosis? What? That's usually what happens to the brain when you have AIDS. Oh. <laughs> that or a full-on, like, a brain lesion or brain cancer. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah. I saw Philadelphia. Neurosyphilis. <laughs> 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 Oh God! Oh God! We're not doing that. We're not doing that tangent. Nope. Oh fuck! I just I I don't know if I'm like gonna be able to add anything to this video. That's why like, look, anybody who wants to check it out, go check out the video. Go give Nick Andros the fucking. Oh, that... No, I would go give Nick Andros the fucking watch time. Like, <laughs> fuck Chud. You really you know don't I mean? like Chud. I actually do like Chud. I watch him and I fucking save a lot of his things. But he, he is a Jenny, whether he likes to admit it or not at times. But like, yeah, no, he... <laughs> he is on the payroll. <laughs> I would go give Nick Andros the watch. He's got a the shorter video, b the original content, and like I know that these guys like I know where to look in all of their bullshit to fucking find the title, and like I know where to stare intently and deeply into their eyes to know where to look find the titles from watching these guys yeah. long enough. <laughs> 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 but like I'm not going to watch this whole video. I think that. This much by six minutes in, it's enough to sit there and say, "This is fucked up." Yeah, like you don't have to go far. Like, like it's enough to like, "This is bad." Dead to rights, basically. Six minutes in, 